Nucleos EFX QC can be installed as a client server or standalone instance. We will be focusing on the standalone version. This installation is straightforward and will create an application called Nucleos Desktop. Before launching Nucleos, ensure your license dongle is connected to your computer. When you first start Nucleos, you will be on the login screen. Here you will select the database that you will be working with. These are the default databases the installation created. Click Login. If this is the first time running this software on your computer, you will receive this message. Just click OK. The Settings window will open. Select the instrument models you will be using. If you do not know all instruments you will be using, that's OK. You can come back to this window later. Let's take a look at some other important settings. Under the General tab, you can select your color settings including Illuminant, Observer Angle, and your Delta E formula. We'll change the formula to Delta E CMC. The Reports tab allows you to customize what data shows up when a report is exported to an Excel file. The EFX QC and EFX QA tabs both allow us to adjust the same settings for each of these applications. These three tabs correspond to the same tabs you will see when working in the EFX QC app. Here you can specify your trials name format and how to auto name your trials. In the job details and single trial view tabs, you can change what metrics and information will be displayed under these views when working in the QC and QA applications. This includes color data, delta E metrics, texture data, and your LAB plots. Once finished with your settings, click Save. The application launcher will be displayed at the bottom. Hovering over any of the applications with your cursor will display its name. It will also rise up higher than the rest of the icons. If you open any of the editor applications or the QAQC apps, you will see a nav bar at the top of the window. To return to the initial settings screen, click this icon. Clicking this question mark will open a PDF of the detailed instruction manual. This is a great place to start if you're not sure what something does. Your instrument connection is set right here. Connect your instrument via USB and click Rescan for New Instruments. All available instruments will show up here. Once connected, you can also use this menu to configure your instrument settings, perform a reference tile calibration, and manage your device's storage. The instrument configuration settings will most likely mirror the same settings on your device. There are a couple of additional options worth taking a look at. Measurement trigger can be set to online or software. Online allows you to trigger a measurement from your device rather than inside the software. This can be useful in situations where you may not have a free hand to trigger the measurement in the software. Under measurement conditions, you can also uncheck texture images. The texture images can take up a lot of space in your database. These will always be saved with your standards, but you may not want an image saved for every trial you're measuring. Click OK once your settings are set. Finally, let's take a second to get you familiar with the Data Access Tool in Object Browser. The Data Access Tool is an asset management system used for all of the properties, tolerances, standards, and trials you create in the other Nucleos applications. Here, you can delete and organize your data. The Object Browser is used to quickly locate and save these assets from within your other apps.